For centuries, the South Seas have been remote, rich in romance and mystery. It has always been a magnet to lure the scholar, the sportsman, and the adventurer. crazy, but I've got a notion. <laughs> if you've got a notion, 10 to 1, it's crazy, all right. You know, I'd like to get off at an island like that with nothing but a toothbrush. For the love of Pete. We're on our way to shoot tigers in Sumatra. Now, what's the big idea? Yeah, I don't have to kill to get a thrill. I'd like to get off at an island like this and fight the battle of nature against man with my bare hands. Raw. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it's on an island just like this that Robinson Crusoe lives... That's exactly what I mean. Ah, uh, Robinson Crusoe was a myth. Well, let's make him a reality. You? Well, you've been living behind that boy shirt for many years. You'd be crying, Mama, the first day. Don't you believe it? You're not in your right mind, Mama. No, if I were, I wouldn't be thinking a thing like this. I tell you what you fellas do. Go on to Sumatra and get your tiger. When you get back, you'll find me living in a penthouse with hot and cold running water and grocers delivered twice a day. Not a chance. There are cannibals on these islands. When we got back, we'd find you tied to a steak and be the remnants of a short dinner. Bet you wouldn't. Bet you would. Bet you wouldn't. Bet you would. I bet you a million dollars. Make it a thousand in real money, and I'll bet you. You're on. Roger, uh, pack his toothbrush. He's leaving. Now, wait a minute. Now, this is a bet. I'll bet you, when you get back, I'll be living the life of Riley. And you bet that I'll be tied to a stake. Is that right? That's right. Good. Ha <laughs> ha. Watches for factories and ties for fools. I'm off. <laughs> Where shall we send your mail? Park Avenue and 52nd Street. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how about that dog? Well, Robinson Crusoe had a dog here. You can have the toothbrush. I'll roll my own. Come on, Rooney. You'll win that bet or die in the attempt. You think so? I've got something up my sleeve. Rudy, now you be a good sport and go through with this thing. I'll take you to a cat farm next summer. That a boy. He can pick the nut for a mess. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, Rudy, we're certainly in for it now. Cut off from the world for many, many months. I suppose the first thing to do is to look for water. <laughs> oh, oh, drinking water. Aqua pura. Come on, let's go. Ah, rainwater. That's not bad. Try it. Here, taste it. It's a little brackish, but not bad at all. One. Try it. Now, wait a minute. I'll give you one more chance. Coconuts. Fresh water from coconuts.
must have an ancestor not very far removed that could put his teeth in a situation like this and swallow it one go. your great-grandfather. <laughs> well, Rooney, Rooney here is looking at you. Ah. Now, how about something to eat? I may finish by eating grass, but I'm certainly not going to start that way. Ha! <laughs> oh, Van Camp's backyard. Coconuts. Bananas. Breadfruit. Pineapple. I'm all set. Now, what about you? I'm afraid you've got to go on a diet. <laughs> now for a place to live. called a survey. The next thing is an engineering job. Now I'm going to show you a little trick. This happened 10, 15, or 200,000 years ago. The first thing that man did when he stood on his hind legs was to throw his brain into a new position. The nails got short, his teeth got dull, and he made himself his first implement. Natives of these islands make rope out of this and various other things. Rooney, I suppose you're wondering where I got all this information. Well, I've been a boy scout and I've read Dan Beard's handy book. Simple, twist the 
wrist and presto changeo. You have it. Eureka! Isn't nature wonderful? Isn't nature kind? <laughs> I beg your pardon, I'm wrong again. Come on, Rooney. We'll build a house in spite of our unfriendly neighbors. <laughs> Here is an island that is totally different, both uh, geographically and in vegetation, from our Robinson Crusoe Island. Oh, oh, look who's here. Ooh, little drama going on on this island. <laughs> little girl evidently does not want to take a bath. Mama Spank. My Jo, she's a cute little trick. Wait a minute. You know what this is? It's a betrothal ceremony. Oh. Yes. <laughs> the girl presents her call to the man she is supposed to marry. He accepts it as a token of the engagement. <laughs> Look at the face of the guy she's going to marry. Oh, wonder who the grouchy old dame is. Probably the girl's mother. <laughs> well, she's a good match for the son-in-law. All right, all right, all right. Yeah. Uh, what happens after the betrothal? Well, uh, after several months, or as the natives say, after the fourth moon, uh, they have the wedding. And the girl is bathed by her bridesmaids, dressed, garlanded, and taken before the groom-to-be. Uh, whereupon, to complete the ceremony, he ups and knocks out her front teeth. Oh, no kidding? <laughs> Actual fact. <laughs> oh, well, we do the same thing. Only we usually wait until after the ceremony. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Stopping off at an island to play house where nothing ever happens. animals that seem to be wandering around here and want to contribute to this little Robinson Crusoe drama, we're ready for them. Ah, that ought to work without a hitch. Come on, boy, time for dinner. It won't be long now. We'll soon be moving into our penthouse. something to Suki. One face. 
Hey, you gotta do better than that. Low tide nothing. Now, you told me that yesterday. <laughs> this looks more like the Swiss family Robinson. <laughs> hey, what's the idea? Number two, our first catch. <laughs> ah, welcome to our city. I was wondering where we were going to get our butter.
don't seem to understand, but you're going to be my man Friday. Get up. Science against brute strength. You know, this is Stecker's famous scissor hole. And he give up? <laughs> I thought you'd be good Friday. Says famous toe hole in my own hammer lock. <laughs> How do you like that? Hey, now you be a good boy. Does you? Oh, you feel that way about it? Now, if this water cure doesn't work, I'm going to try castor oil. Now, behave yourself. Oh, a headhunter. You must be Friday the 13th. Operator. You should have killed a radio announcer. Hmm, I got a notion. It might be crazy. Contribution to our adventure. We'll call the station FRBY. Crusoe had anything like this. I got, I've got to read that book again.
Friday's gone. You must be Saturday. You're better, huh? Tell me, where did you come from? Do venez-vous? Vous commencez here. De donde viene usted? Airway umke umfre. Did you swim? Did you paddle a canoe? Oh, you paddle. From that island over there? Oh, I see that island over there. Look around, we're not quite fixed up. We, we weren't expecting anyone yet. <laughs> yeah, that's early Grand Rapids. Change that piece. <laughs> Sears Roebuck. That bed is only here on approval. Why oh, you want to see this? This is a cute one. Watch this. Look at that. How do you like that?
So he is spending the next six months in jail. This program is sponsored by the Dorothy Pardon Cosmetic Company. Now, don't forget, girls, if you want to be beautiful, if you want to be lovely, use Dorothy Pardon's famous lipstick, Dorothy Pardon's famous eyebrow pencil, Dorothy Pardon's famous vanishing cream, and Dorothy Pardon's famous cheek rouge. <laughs> When you hear the sound of the chime, the time will be 12 o'clock, midnight, Pacific Standard Time. That's 8 o'clock South Sea time, four hours different. It's time to go to bed. Come on, Saturday. That's all. Joanna, this is your bed. Yeah, you, you sleep here. You sleep here. You're bad. Look. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh no, Sandy. I sleep out here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cute. There you are. There. Yeah. Good night. I don't know. You don't kiss down here, huh? What do you do? Only. What? Only. Oh, it's Saturday. Baby. Oh, I see. <laughs> you have noses. <laughs> Only. <laughs> well, good night. Pleasant dreams. See you in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> you bid into this little scheme of mine. Just line up some of these natives and I'll show you how I'm going to win that bet from Mr. Robinson Crusoe. Right. Hey, my boy. Hey, you want to wait, mate? Hey. Aye.
Look, don't stand behind me. Oh, that's fine. What did it do for a Saturday? Saturday. Never. Never as long as you live. Ever speak when a man is putting. You can steal his watch, but never talk. You can't do that. Taboo. Taboo. I'm going to I have it with you. <laughs> now we're even. I'll show you the reason why people play golf. This is the 19th hole. This is the clubhouse. I may give you a two-week card here. I may put you up. been glorious. Fine dinner, 18 holes of golf, clubhouse, and you. Ah, and what a night. Glorious, marvelous, perfectly divine, gorgeous, inspiring, enchanting. Ah, how silver sweet sounds lovers' tongues by night. Like softest music to attending ear. Oh, heavenly night. I'm appeared being a night. All this is but a dream. Too flattering sweet to be substantial. You understand? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Absolutely, Aida. The tide is getting late. The lark will soon supplant the nightingale. So we must do nest. Nest pa? That's great. Wonderful. Just like real cannibal. Now we press this on. This is all they have to do. Man on island, alone. They go. Scare him to death. Tie the sting. Get ready to roast. There we go. Oh, that's all my day. But it's a young dog. Oh, for the last dog. He opened. But he needed a fool. You wear a mato in time. Come on, let's go. Saturday, you're sweet, lovely, a dog, mom, you're everything a doctor ordered, but, but this is an impossible situation. 
It's so sudden. You don't even know my family. Besides, you may not like it where I come from. It's so different. <laughs> oh, boy, what a football game. Notre Dame nothing, Southern California nothing. End of the first half. Johnny, stop monkeying with that radio. They see I'm talking. You, you see, Saturday? We're savages. You're a calm, mild, peaceful people. We have football, prize fighting, gangsters, dentists. Now, for instance, do you play bridge? Yes. <laughs> No Saturday. <laughs> I wouldn't spoil your beautiful teeth for anything in the world. <laughs>
That's 2,000 bucks you owe me. Oh, you didn't sort of regret it. <laughs> Question before the house and no fooling. Saturday. I told you this is an imp. You shouldn't have. You know, I've got to go back on this. You should have stayed on that island. No, no, no. I knew I shouldn't have taught her English. What are you going to do with her? As a rule, they conveniently jump into volcanoes. Huh? She won't write on Twitter. What? Jump into a volcano. Oh, oh this is serious. What am I going to do, Professor? East is east and west is west. I know it, I know it. Mm. I shot my tiger. Oh. Triple or nothing on that bed. You don't get out of this one. I've got it. 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 